Is it possible to do backcountry flying on a budget? Watch this video and find out. Coming right up. While general aviation is shrinking, backcountry flying seems to grow more popular every year. YouTubers like Trent Palmer, Corey Robin and others from the Flying Cowboys probably have something to do with that. Even in the current general aviation predicament, now is a great time to get into bush flying. But there is one problem. Not everyone has the money to invest into a Series 7 Kit Fox or Carbon Cup like you see on those great aviation channels. Even getting a lower powered local South African variant like the KFA Bush Baby or Skyreach Bush Cat is out of reach for a lot of people. But I'm here today to convince you that you can do bush flying on a budget. And the silver lining of the current economic crisis in South Africa because of COVID-19 is that it's a total bias market, especially for used aircraft. The focus of this video is on bush planes you can buy for less than 250,000 Rand. So at the top of that 250,000 Rand limit, you can find bush babies, other kit foxes and other similar aircraft that can be flown as bush planes as is or can be made into decent backcountry planes that suit your mission and your pocket. But what if that's still out of your price range? If even that is more than you can swing, you can consider partnering up on a plane like we did, or you can look at conventionally controlled microlights. These make great bush planes because of their slow landing speed and has been used on rough strips for decades. They will outperform many light sport aircraft in short takeoffs and landings without any modifications. These can usually be found secondhand for under 180,000 Rand, and bargains can often be found for under 120,000 Rand. You can't even buy a new car for that price, and can barely get a decent secondhand one. Think about it, for that price, you can land on any strip, go to a lot of off airfield locations, and it won't break the bank. If you have doubts about the limits of this aircraft, go have a look at MMATS YouTube channel linked in the description of this video, where it often takes micro lights or ultra lights go land on sandbars in the river in Canada. He doesn't have a carbon cup or monster kit fox, but he enjoys the same adventures and I guarantee you has just as much fun. Let's have a look at some of the aircraft that's in the market right now and see if we can find one or two affordable bush planes. There are many places to look for secondhand aircraft, like websites or magazines. I like to look at the personal classifieds on AFCOM, a very popular aviation forum. Okay, let's have a look. Okay, so here we've got an Avid Flyer. Okay, 250,000, so that's at the very top limit um, of our price range. Looks like, yeah, it's got a Rotax 532 in, same engine that our Bush Baby has got in. It's quite a nice looking plane, actually. I think it will make quite a nice um, Bush plane. Oh wow, that's a nice photo. Yeah, so there you got it. There's the first option for a bush plane at the very top of that price range that we said. Okay, let's see what else we can find. Okay, let's uh, look at the next page. Oh, uh, it looks like there's a Sky Jeep. It's probably going to be out of our price range. Oh wow, no, it's actually 220,000. Oh, it's got a, a 912 in it. That's actually... Um, I wonder how many hours he's got on it. You don't usually get a plane with a 912 in it for for quite um, this price. Okay, according to that, the engine's got 345 hours on it, which is still a, a while away from the, um, I think, 1,500 or 1,800 uh, TBO. So obviously the big draw here is that 912 that's included. And it's obviously, it's not a tail dragger, but it doesn't have to be. And don't let anybody tell you that it, you need to have a tail dragger to do uh, backcountry flying. It's not the case. And have a look at the Stall NZ YouTube channel and see what they do with these Sky Jeeps. Um, it's obviously highly modified, um, the, the planes they've got in there, but it's, it's the same design. So um, definitely it will make a very nice bush plane. Okay, let's see what else we can find. Okay, so here we've got a cubby tail dragger. It's probably got a VW engine in it. Yeah, uh, it's got a VW engine. Uh, a lot of people don't like these uh, VW engines. As far as I know, there's not anything wrong with them. 
Um, the only thing that, uh, and this is only um, my perception, is that you need to be a little bit more hands-on with these engines. It's probably good if you basically maintain it yourself and c can keep an eye on it like that. But I don't think there's anything wrong with it. And it goes for 220,000, which is not bad. But it's a very nice looking aircraft and I'm pretty sure it's gonna make a very nice bush plane. Okay, let's see what else we can find. Uh, you've got, we've got a Bantam uh, B-22. Yeah, so this, you'll be moving to the conventional controlled microlights um, class of planes. Uh, this one's 120,000 rand, which is not bad. It's obviously it's got the Jabru engine in it, also an engine that a lot of people don't like. I don't have any issue with them. I've uh, I trained on Jabru's, so I'm quite comfortable with these engines. And uh, oh, this is going to make a pretty good bush plane. Let's see what else we can find. You've got another Bantam between two. This one's for 90,000 Rand. And wow, this is actually a very good deal. Um, it's, it's, it looks like it's got a bit more hours on it on the A-frame than the previous one we looked at. But man, this price is really good. Um, I mean, the the amount of backcountry flying you can do with this thing for, for such a low price. This will be make one very nice plane. So I can't vouch for any of these aircraft as I don't know their condition or history any more than you do. I'm purely going on the information provided in the ad. Aside from that, what can you expect when you buy an affordable bush plane like some of the ones mentioned in this video? Well, for one, it's not going to be a Freedom Fox or Draco and you probably won't be able to land on a 50 meter clearing on a mountaintop. But that doesn't mean mountaintop landings are off the table, not at all. But since it will probably be a lower powered aircraft like our Rotax 582 65 horsepower Bush Baby, you won't be able to rely on a monster engine to get you out of trouble. You also need to make sure that you don't get yourself in a situation where the downdraft on the downwind side of a mountain exceeds your max climb rate. Also, high density altitude will rob you of what little power the engine has. But it's not all doom and gloom. If you're careful about the conditions you choose to fly in, one of these aircraft will get you solidly into bush flying. So what is the verdict on affordable backcountry flying? Yes, it's totally possible. We all want a monster bush plane. And if you can afford one, that's great. But if you can't, don't miss out on adventures because you think you need a carbon cup to do bush flying.